So we're saying that middleman here, maybe we don't need this. Let's say if we have a logout view controller, where is it? Yes, let's say we need to log out here or we create a logout view controller as we were talking about, logout view controller. If you want to decouple login and logout because they can be used independently. In that case, you can create a logout view controller that will configure the button and manage the lifetime of the view and the button. You can just pass again a logout handler closure protocol, something like this. Every time the button button tapped, it should call logout, for example. Yeah. Now, when you create the logout view controller in the composition, what is it? You would create the logout view controller. We see, and you say view controller dot logout equals the off provider dot logout user. This way, the view model doesn't need to be in the middle of this communication. You eliminate that middleman here because the view model is not doing anything. Unless the view model actually will do something, it will update some UI yeah. state, you provide some message, and then you can be in the view model. If the view model is doing nothing apart from passing this message forward, then you can compose the view controller directly with the off provider without coupling them. So the off provider will not depend on the view controller and the view controller doesn't depend on the off provider. They are composed because they just depend on the signature void, void. You can pass any function here, any method void, void. You do it in the composition. And of course you have unit tests to make sure you're composing it correctly. And then you're not forgetting to pass here the right method. This is something else you can do. And the view model can only be concerned about logging. 